Did you know research suggests 50% of computer users suffer some type of computer related injury or illness? Common problems include eye strain, headaches, lower back or neck pain, wrist or elbow or shoulder pain. Some individuals can develop more long term problems including repetitive strain injury, chronic pain syndromes and myofascial pain. Psychological disturbances, for example, sleep problems, anxiety or depression can also occur. There's been an overwhelming increase in back pain and musculoskeletal issues in the younger population in the UK, specifically 16 to 24 year olds with 86% of that population claiming to have back or musculoskeletal pain at some point. An increased amount of time spent sitting, slouching or hunching over computer screens, iPhones, tablets, does not bode well for the pro proper mechanics and alignment of the spine from top to bottom. The weight of the head is a key factor when it comes to tech neck or text neck. The neck muscles, tendons and ligaments are designed to support the head's weight, 10 to 12 pounds, in a neutral position, balanced on top of the cervical spine and shoulders. When texting on a phone, it is common to bend the head forwards and look down at a 45 to 60 degree angle which places about 50 to 60 pounds of force on the neck instead of 10 to 12. That's an extra 17 to 22 kilograms. This puts the muscles in constant tension and the joints under much more strain around the neck. The good news is there's a lot you can do to help. Firstly, ensuring you have a good workstation set up. Did you know there is an online desk space ergonomic assessment form you can do, which is easily accessible on the internet? This can be done with your manager and any issues can be highlighted and solutions discussed. For more information, take a look at the short video if you are sitting for most of the day where I guide you through this and some exercises further on the YouTube channel. When last did you have an eye test? If you're getting headaches, eye strain or neck pain with regular use of technology, it is always worth getting your eyesight checked as this is a quick fix. Take regular breaks or consider divisions of work streams into shorter intervals. Can you vary the activity or you're doing to prevent the onset of pain? Try getting up or changing position every 20 to 30 minutes to wake up those muscles and move your joints. Exercising regularly will also help to prevent aches or pains as often with being more sedentary, our joints become stiff, our muscles weak, and we can become generally deconditioned leading to pain and often making us more susceptible to injuries at work and at home. Consider different forms of exercise that move your body in a variety of ways. This might be yoga, Pilates, Zumba, running or walking. Stretching and mobility exercises can also be a great way to both manage and prevent musculoskeletal issues related to technology or being more sedentary during the day. Consider less unnecessary use of technology, including computer or laptop use, tablet or smartphone use. Take a moment to be mindful of how much you check your messages, emails or social media. Prioritise your sleep. Try to get a good seven to nine hours if possible to ensure you're rested and have enough time to recover and be ready for the day ahead. Be mindful of your mental health. Often stress and anxiety can lead to increased muscle tension and pain, which can then have a further impact on your mood and therefore your daily activities. Talking can often help, as can training your brain through mindfulness exercises. For further one-to-one -one support, please do get in touch with our health and wellbeing team. So, what are the top five tech neck exercises I would recommend? Let's start with a chin tuck. This is a great way to prevent a poking chin, which we too easily come into use with technology. So instead of a poking chin, try and think about lengthening through the back of your neck, growing nice and tall, and creating like a little double chin at the front, whereby your head is resting on top of your shoulders, your muscles are relaxed. The next one is a chest stretch, hand behind your back, lifting and looking up, opening through the front of your chest, as again, often with technology, we tend to become quite round-shouldered and quite insular, getting quite tight in the front. Number three is an upper back stretch. So you can use your chair 
just by twisting and using your chair as a lever, getting some rotation through your upper back, whereby again with technology use, we often get quite stiff through our upper back, causing pain. Number four is a neck stretch. So start by lengthening through your spine and just take your chin to your ear to your shoulder, feeling a stretch on one side of your neck. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and then look under your armpit again for 20 to 30 seconds just to feel a good stretch through the neck. And the last is just some simple shoulder rolls backwards and then forwards just to reduce any aches, pains, tension in these muscles around your neck and shoulders. For more comprehensive, a more comprehensive guide to exercises, not only to stretch and mobilize, but stabilize and strengthen, head over to the Kingston Hospital YouTube channel where you'll find 15 to 20 minute classes to follow along. I hope you found that video um, helpful and do get in touch with the health and wellbeing team if you require any more one-to-one -one support. Bye.